the first Sunday of Advent. Today, the church begins the liturgical season of Advent, a time of waiting and hope. Our scriptures celebrate Christ's coming in history two millennia ago, his coming into our present lives and needs, and his future Advent when God's plan for salvation reaches its fullness. Each Sunday's reading set before us all three models of Christ's coming. Jeremiah's prophecy presents a divine promise brimming with hope for the future arrival of a just leader, bringing the chosen people safely and securely. God's claim to fulfill the promise came at an astounding moment, Jeremiah proclaiming this word of the Lord to Judah, the only remaining Israelite kingdom, as she was facing the beginning of the end. The Babylonians had seized political control of the kingdom, and some citizens had already been deported as captives into Babylonia. Judah's dissolution had begun. Eleven years later, the kingdom would not exist no more. Its people killed or taken captive. Jerusalem and the temple leveled. Precisely at this dark moment, Jeremiah urged the people to have great hope for the future. The days are coming for God to rebuild a chosen people through a royal son of David, restoring them to what is right and just in the land. And at that very moment that Judah's world began to crumble around her, the prophet called for trust in God, who would come to her history to set all things right, to restore right relationships, to save a dying people. Christians today might experience dark days as well, for various reasons, illness or old age, economic struggles, weakening or broken relationships, and yet we know that God's promise is already fulfilled in life, death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. On this first Sunday of the church year, many of us will gaze on the single flame that is burning on the Advent wreath. It may seem small and insignificant against the background of world events and even our own lives. Often we are so physically and mentally exhausted at the end of the year that we may be skeptical about this tiny flickering flame and the illumination it can offer us. But as we enter into this season, the church encourages us to have hope in the promises of God so that it can easily flicker in and out of consciousness. The first hearing Luke's gospel may seem to be proclaiming a message of fear and doom. Its truth, however, is different. Christ in his second coming as the glorious Son of Man will liberate the cosmos and all humanity from fear and menace. Luke urges large symbolic language for this large event. It is the only way to speak of the events that yet have not come to experience.